This is my toolbox. It's a uh, US General 44 inch toolbox. So let's start with what I always keep on top. So I keep gloves here. And then I keep a uh, shop rag on the side, extension cord. And then I made this little basket here that hangs on the back. It's out of like perforated stainless so that if anything spills in it, it doesn't collect. It falls to the bottom. I keep WD 40, uh, brake clean. There's some goo gone in here. There's this air tool oil, uh, brake fluid, and this is just motor oil. So then I have these shelves that hook on the back here too. Keep my drill and my flashlight, the chargers here. And then I also keep this, which is my snap-on 7.2 volt uh, electric screwdriver with a 6 inch Phillips um, bit, I guess you'd say. Uh, this thing's great. I like this a lot because you don't, to, you go forward. And then backwards, you don't have to push like a switch, like a drill. Like the drill has the switch here. You don't have to push that. You can just, if you're in a tight area, you can change direction just by moving your fingers there. So I keep that on top. And then on the side, I got my clipboard, magnetic bowl, and some pictures and the calendar and stuff. Okay. So the big drawer here, I got all my sockets. Bunch of sockets. They're mostly Craftsman sockets. There's a lot of snap-on stuff and... I think this is the only Mac socket I have. It's a 3 8 drive, quarter inch. That's that. And then my uh, quarter inch drive ratchets are is a Mac here, this one. And this is actually really cool. This is it's a quarter inch drive body. It looks just like that other Mac ratchet, except it's a 3 8 drive uh, here. And this thing is super handy because 3 8 drive sockets are deeper than quarter inch drive deep sockets. So this will get in some really tight spots. And then I have a snap on. Uh, 3 8 drive, and then a Craftsman 3 8 drive here that I use, because I like to have two ratchets, two of these at least, 3 8 drive. Snap-on, or a Craftsman flex head 3 8 drive, and then a snap-on half-inch drive. Um, Craftsman breaker bars, all three sizes. Uh, speed handle, and then a T-bar here. And then just the miscellaneous sockets that I have. Swivels are all snap-on, and then my big pry bar, because that's the only place that it'll fit. Starting here. Uh, SA wrenches. These are par X's all the way to one inch. This one's a snap on, and this one here's a snap on. And then I got all the way up to inch and a half and just various other wrenches. Craftsman line wrenches here. Uh, I got these are gear, these, these here are Husky, and these are gear wrench. They're ratcheting wrenches. The Husky ones are made by gear wrench, so it's the same thing. And then double box in offsets here. And then. I got metric ratchet or metric wrenches here. These are all Craftsman. There's a few. There's like three or four snap-on in here. Slowly changing these to snap-on. Then I got uh, let's see line wrenches here. These are just Pittsburgh because I don't really use these metric ones all that much, but I like to have them. And then a set of Husky metric gear wrenches, and I got the two missing ones on order. This set is a nine-piece. It's a seven-piece set. And it doesn't come with the 18 or the 15, which is kind of annoying. So then, one more drawer. Plier drawer. Crescent wrenches here. Spark plug tool. Pulling the boots off. That's a blue point. Tin snips. Pliers. These are these long reach pliers are really nice. This one's uh, 45, and this one's 20. Automatic uh, vice grips. Those are nice. And then down here I got torque wrench, files, engraver. This is my common tap set. I'm going to get a tap and die set. Uh, what is this? Pop rivet gun, regular Allen keys, calipers, thermometer, drill bits, and then torpedo level, you never know. The other two pry bars here, hammer, dead blow, uh, a big sludge that I actually made. This is kind of cool. It's just a cheap Harbor Freight hammer with a uh, change the tips on. But the way I see it, a hammer's a hammer, so if it's a snap-on or a harbor freight, it's the same thing. I don't really care. Pipe wrench, uh, what is this, lady slipper, and a pipe, aluminum pipe for extra leverage. And then power tool drawer, I got a four and a half inch Milwaukee grinder, half inch uh, heavy duty Milwaukee drill, uh, Husky air hammer with the attachments here, Husky impact, and a Campbell Housefield uh, air rack shit. The Husky stuff's good. It's just a uh, rebranded Campbell Housefield, so I'm happy with it. I really don't care. This drawer here is extra safety glasses and then shaded safety glasses. Calculator lock. 
feeler gauges in here, and then punches and chisels and pens, and I have a flashlight, a couple flashlights here. This is my screwdriver drawer. These are nice. These are all Mac screwdrivers. This one's a snap-on. This is a quarter-inch drive Craftsman. You can put, like, the bits in it. I got Torx, Craftsman, Husky nut drivers, and then a cobalt hook and pick set. Electrical drawer. These I bought. These are blue point. I bought these off the truck. They're wire strippers. They're actually really nice. I like these a lot. If I can lock them. There we go. Uh, Thomas and Bits crimpers. I got a snap on test light that I actually bought on eBay for like six dollars. It's a really nice test light. Uh, non stranded wire strippers, DVOM. And then I got a jumper wire and a wire with alligator clips and black tape. This is my, I got my snap on catalog and then just some books. Uh, this here is my brake and oil and engine tool drawer. I got uh, Mac brake spring pliers that I actually bought on eBay for like $11 for this and then this is also Mac tools it's a uh, it's the spring retainer this is a snap on one it's a smaller of the same tool that was brand new on eBay too and it was like $10 uh, brake cube pickle fork piston ring compressor These this is neat tool this is for compressing the pistons of the caliper piston for uh, putting new brake uh, sh let's see new brake pads on Brake spoons here. These I bought at the flea market for like five bucks. Oil cap wrench, distributor tool, uh, spark checker here. It's like a spark plug with the ground clamp on it. And this uh, is a flathead valve spring compressor that I actually modified to work on small engines like lawnmower engines. And then down here is a test light, and then this is a wire. This is it's like wire ends and zip ties and stuff like that. Okay, so that is my 44 inch US General Toolbox. Great deal, this thing was like 400 bucks. This toolbox is great, and I did a little customization on the logo there. But I would totally recommend this toolbox because it's just as good as anything else, and it's only like 400 bucks, and I have not noticed a problem with it at all. I mean, it's, it's great, I would totally recommend it. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video.